Uh, there's no way I can answer that properly in Arabic. I, I mean, I'm going to sound like a 10-year-old kid. Maybe you can throw I can mix it up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, let's do it. أولا أريد أن أبارك لك في على نجاح مسلسل سيد روبوت شكرا ألف شكرا الذي تقوم ببطولته ويعود هذا النجاح لأدائك الرائع في تجسيد شخصية المهندس الإلكتروني إليت أندرسون وهي شخصية مركبة تمنحها بعدا نفسيا وفلسفيا هو مضطرب نفسيا وأخلاقيا يكرس قدرته الخارقة في القرصنة الإلكترونية لينتقم من قوى الظلم في العالم ولكنه في نفس الوقت يدرك أن ما يقوم به هو غير قانوني سام إسماعيل شبهه بشباب الربيع العربي الذين فاروا ضد الأنظمة الطاغية في ديارهم هل توافق معه؟ أيوة عشان في ناس والشباب عندهم مشكلة بال. With the, the society they live in, Azin uh, Yagayaru. So uh, that happened for Masr, Bil Shabab, for Masr with the revolution. And I see it today for you know, the culture Hina for America. Um, people, you know, they're having, have, take issue with you know, the, the government. Uh, power in our society, the way they kind of compromise us. Um, and there's guys like Elliot that want to do something about it. And, and he has the ability with technology the way they did uh, for Masr to, you know, reach out to the masses in a certain way and, uh, and make a change. الحصول على على دور بطولة مسلسل تلفزيوني في هوليوود هو صعب جدا. وخاصة لممثل عربي نحن تعودنا أن نشاهد الممثلين العرب يقومون بأدوار الأشرار والإرهابيين وأنت تجسد دور مبرمج محترف كيف حققت ذلك؟ Yeah, you know, I've always I've been disgruntled for a certain time about all the, all the roles in, uh, in Hollywood going, you know, for Middle Eastern people were the roles of Erhabi, the terrorist, uh, and it, you know it's sad. It's sad to see people going out for just this role to play the villain. And I always wanted to do something else. Um, I wanted, uh, I wanted to just do a, a variety of roles and and show, uh, play some very complicated characters and show the you know so show range. I wanted to look back at at my career and be proud of all the different things I got to do. Playing Elliot in Mr. Robots is a guy who uh, could be anyone in the world. And uh, the fact that I, you know, I'm of Egyptian descent speaks to uh, the changes that are happening, hopefully happening in Hollywood these days. لماذا في رأيك لا نشاهد ممثلين عرب في أدوار رئيسية في أفلام هوليوود والمسلسلات التلفزيونية بغض النظر عن عن نوع الدور؟ you know, I'm not a, the head of a major studio, so I can't tell you why, but um, I don't know. I, I hope that's something that'll change one day. I feel like the discussion's been coming up in, in some of the big blockbusters of last year. And um, I feel like in, in time, hopefully, hopefully uh, people see that we're capable of anything. I mean, uh, I, I think that will happen, and I hope to be a part of it somehow. أنت ولدت وترعرعت هنا في لوس أنجلس ولكن والديك هاجروا من مصر إلى الولايات المتحدة كممثلا عربي ما هي الصعوبات والتحديات التي واجهتها في مشوارك المهني هنا في هوليوود؟ This is Arabic that is really difficult to understand. My mother has a hard time speaking this. Yeah, okay. I had to speak it in Egyptian. يا أمي وأبويا من مصر، أمي من القاهرة وأبويا من أبر إيجيبت. مصر العليا. يا مصر العليا. عليا؟ إيه ها. بالضبط. يا كن هما عايشين هنا عايزين ابنهم يخد يأخد شغل as a doctor و a lawyer حاجات كده. That was hard because, you know, Mumassil is, is not 
considered the the greatest career to go into from that standpoint. Best, you know, for America, it's a, it's a different story. I, it's it's really a, a, a special career to be a part of, and uh, you know, now that I've I've achieved some success, everybody seems very happy with that. But it, it's difficult. It's 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 a very, very difficult business to break into, and uh, I'm very fortunate that I've been able to. Just I've just kept going. دلوقتي في الشوارع بيقولوا مستر روبوت ده مستر روبوت حاجات كده يو نو انا مشهور شويه دلوقتي بس اتس بين فيري سكسسفول كل الناس هنا بيشوفوا البرنامج ده و اتس سمثينج ام فيري براود اوف انا اي كانت ويت فور ات تو ميك اتس واي تو لكل العالم يشوفوا It's a very universal story, and uh, you know, Wad Kida, he's very relatable, very complicated, and you know, as I said before, I yghayar hagat fil alam that is, uh, uh, I think, a lot of people can identify with. وهل كان هناك ردود فعل من مصر على أدائك في هذا البرنامج؟ Uh, yeah, my family over there is really proud of me too. I mean, I, I know that it's uh, it's now airing over there. So, uh, yeah, the response has been great from from here and over there. And get, you know, seeing my family over there get in touch with me in a different way is a, is a very special feeling. هل تشاهد الأفلام العربية أو الأفلام المصرية وكيف تقارن أداء الممثلين العرب مع التمثيل هنا في هوليوود وأريد جوابا صريحا بدون مجاملة. أنا بشوف الأفلام بتاعت مصر لما كنت أنا كنت صغير you know I I grew up watching all of those films so you know there are the there are the of course مسلسلات that are very broad and you know that it's a different style of acting and it's very enjoyable and that's something you know every family grows up with and it's fun to watch but there you know there's some really great filmmakers coming out of Egypt and and in Lebanon um all over the arab world that are are making really special films that are uh you know have garnered the attention of of this country and europe and and travel to film festivals but yeah i'm trying to introduce my family to those really special independent movies that come out of there and uh, because it has you know a really great sensibility that they may not have necessarily grown up with هل تريد ان تشارك في هذه الافلام العربيه ايوه of course I, I, yeah I, uh, I would love to you know لا, لازم اكبر العربي شويه بس uh, تشتغل على العربيه بتاعتك yeah, تش, اشتغل شويه على العربيه yeah. <تصفيق> مش على العربيه العربي لا اللغه العربيه اللغه لا عربيه في مصر لا <تصفيق> <تصفيق> النجم العربي الوحيد الذي لمع في هوليوود هو عمر شريف هل تحلم بان تكون عمر شريف الجديد هنا و عندما تنظر الى الامام ماذا تريد ان تحقق؟ Yeah, I you know, I love Omar Sharif. I I think he you know, did some some great he's made some great films, I mean, iconic films, iconic roles. He worked with some of, you know, our our best directors and and actors here in this country and yeah, he's definitely uh you know, charted a, a way, a path for actors, but you know, I look at him as I do every other actor that I respect. Um you know someone to look up to someone to, you know, someone to appreciate the, you know their their canon of work and uh yeah i am who i am and i i hope people recognize that for whatever that's worth um but yeah to say that i you know i grew up here i don't you know i i i feel like i uh, i have it easy in a certain way that i'm you know i'm part of part of this Uh, world in this establishment in Hollywood, and th- that makes it a bit easier for me. هل تطرح لك هوليوود الآن أدوارا أفضل من الأدوار التي كنت تقوم تقوم بها قبل أن قمت بدور أليت في سيد روبوت؟ 
I really have never ha had that problem. Maybe in the beginning, I, you know, I, I played a role as, as uh, you know, I've done the Pharaoh on Night at the Museum. I did a terrorist one, one time on a show called Over There. But for the most part, yeah, I, I've had the opportunity to play a wide variety of roles. It's something I appreciate, and I'm very thankful to have that. But I, I've never looked at it in a way. You know, I thought I've always thought I could play anything. هل أنت أفضل الآن في علم الحواسيب؟ شوية. رامي شكرا جزيلا لك. رامي عفوا شكرا. فرصة سعيدة. أنا المرة الجاية. المرة الجاية إن شاء الله. Yeah.